Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you from my new craft station. <laughs> if you watched my um, decluttering, my, my craft room makeover, you'll see that I am now facing my window. The radiator is underneath here. It's feeling very toasty. So, today's video is fully inspired by a, um, a previous video that I did adding tattoos into the resin, but also one of my amazing friends on YouTube, Megan, one of my subscribers, she actually tried it out, tested it out, putting the tattoos directly into the mould before adding any resin. A bit like I did with the paint and the foil. So today we're going to do that and I know that Valentine's Day is coming and I'm not very, very Valentine's-y so I thought I'd bring out the pinks. I thought today's video would be all about the pinks and um, someone needs to stop me or cut up my bank card because I went on Amazon and I purchased... <laughs> I purchased some more um, tattoos just look at these look at this one oh I am a Leo so uh, that's my ultimate favorite so this is one of those moments where I wish I was kind of live and we could have this kind of backwards and forwards conversation and I could ask you which ones you think I should put in loving this one with the owl these are of course body tattoos that I now know work perfectly well in resin so um, my thoughts are these are the bigger ones. These are like sleeves, which I thought I would save for doing some trays later on. But these ones, basically, we're going to put the tattoos directly onto the silicon before adding the resin. And the resin's going to be pink. So, if you were here right now, if you were me, which one would you choose? Tell me when. <laughs> this is so hard. Yesterday, there was some. The next morning it's actually early morning I haven't even started work yet and it's dark outside but it's time to demold these now these are the new um, pro resin pigments that I purchased these pigments are absolutely beautiful I cannot fault them my favorite one is the dark purple and I've, I've nearly run out so yeah and this one is also the pro resin look at this look at this shimmer seriously okay and this one is the opaque so let's have a go oh 
look at that that is gorgeous oh my oh my goodness oh that to me is absolutely stunning and the tattoo has come off like a dream nothing left in the mold oh wow and look at this seriously you can sellotape all you want <laughs> and something still manages to get in there never mind it's still gorgeous i absolutely love it after i did this yesterday and after i poured the resin i was like ah oh, i should have put some foil on the back of the tattoo or at least tried to put some foil on the back of the tattoo so that when you demold you can see silver and gold foil through the main um I might try something like that in the future definitely but also part of me was worried that the resin would stick to the foil but wouldn't be able to get to the tattoo because it's under and we might have problems but that for my first attempt at putting them in the mold Megan thank you so so much you were right works beautifully absolutely beautifully so we're gonna flip this one over now okay wow look at that i'm not hating it it's just i think the mica powder is so busy the mica powder got so so busy in there like it did on the back it's just stunning it reminds me of soap you know when you buy soap bombs and um shampoo and oh i feel like the tattoo got a bit lost but Having said that, it's absolutely stunning. Oh gosh, it's stunning. Let me know what you guys think. So the opaque or the mad crazy mica. Look at, I mean, look at the shimmer on that mica. Honestly, pro resin. Resin pro, resin pro, resin pro. <laughs> these ones, these ones here. Just honestly, Sahara. They're called Sahara pigments. And I've got now quite a few. Okay, last one, last one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Wow. That, to me, is a wow. Again, the mica is so busy in these. But, oh. I love owls as well oh, absolutely I love it right so vote now I mean are we going for opaque so that we've got this block of opaque color with the tattoo on like this or are we going for mica personally I lo I do like these I just feel like the tattoos get lost in the mica but for someone else they might be right up your street you might find them absolutely just perfect for you. I love that the tattoos worked. So again, thanks, Megan. I'm definitely going to try this again in the future. I will eventually put a, um, a layer of clear resin in here. I'm now using the Vista Coty for the top coats. Great resin. And that's what I'm going to do for these. Um, just to make sure. Well, I just do it anyway, I think. Just to give it that wow factor. And a little bit of um, difference, you know. Um, there is a massive difference between not putting some resin in here and putting some resin in here. Yeah, absolutely buzzing. I'm so happy they worked. So I just did the demold on these you would have seen. So this other half of the video, I really want to try because after I demolded, I thought, ah, oh, wish I tried foil in the back of those tattoos just to see how it would come out. I was also worried that the foil on top of the tattoo wouldn't, the tattoo then wouldn't grip to the resin. So my plan is to try again with another three. These are out of the molds now, so I can just go ahead and use these. I'm going to put the tattoos in, then i'm gonna go on the back with some of that glitter glue if you've been following me a while you would have seen me use glitter glue in resin before and it's beautiful it comes out beautiful and it takes the resin really really well so the plan is tattoos again glitter glue on the backs so that when we flip them out we shall see
is now dry so it is half past four um, finished work come back upstairs and it's nice and dry everything is dry so I'm just gonna mix up my resin I'm using exactly the same resin <laughs> We're going to see what they look like um, if the glitter stayed. Now, this mark along here, this is the mark I sometimes get when I mix colours. I mixed the um, dark pink and the white. Um, and also, some of that white ended up at the bottom of the jar. So, just make sure if you're mixing two colours together to change jars, pour it out into another cup. Um, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. I, I, I advise things and I just don't do them. I really should. Right, let's see. Oh, pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. And you, f yeah, I'm feeling it and it's smooth. Oh, well it works. I can let you all know now it works. So that's tattoos and glitter glue. Let's have a go at this one. Oh no, do you know, I'm going to leave that till last. Let's have a go at the feather. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. I love feathers. I don't know about you. Just feathers, just beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, that is right up my street. What do you think? Feels so easy, this is the last one. Let's have a go. This one is the one I was excited about because I just put so much detail in. And if I sound different this morning, it's because I've not long woke up and I don't want to shout. <laughs> I'm very, very quiet because everyone's still asleep. Yes. What do you think? I absolutely love it. Um, I feel like I got it as symmetrical as I could get it in the centre. So that's looking down the centre. Um, oh, love it. Absolutely love it. I'm so happy it worked. Well, I hope you have loved this as much as me. The fact that it works just opens up so many possibilities for all of your moulds. I'm only using these just because they're easy. But yeah, imagine what you can do with trays and all sorts. Oh, the excitement. So I hope you've loved this and thank you so, so much. All I'm going to do now, I'm not going to film it because I filmed it in previous videos and I don't want to take any more of your time. I'm going to put a top coat in all of these because this is actually quite sticky these are quite sticky and that might be because I put them directly on the mold they are in they're solid as a rock but yeah they definitely need a top coat so I'm going to be using my Vista Coty to just pour a small amount in each of these make sure it's all the way around hit it with my torch and leave them to cure completely before they go out to their new homes so I hope you've loved thank you so much again and I will see you in my next video bye